and man became a living soul. You'll be amazed that the most conscious aspect of this entity at this time was his soul. Right? So he could relate intelligibly with his environment. And uh, for every aspect of his development, he was exposed to different levels of influences. What I mean by that is because he became a living soul, Satan and God could hack into his thoughts. When he was not a living soul, that possibility did not exist. But the moment he became a living soul, God hacked into his thoughts. And the account of this is in the book of Genesis chapter 2, from verse 15 to verse 17. God was given an opportunity to advertise the possibilities that he had if he decides to eat of the tree of life. Satan was given an opportunity to advertise the possibilities that he had if he decides to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 6. So what you will see from that point is advertisement. (laughs) Uh, Then you'll be able to understand the mind-bending techniques of the devil. The mind-bending techniques of the devil, if you read Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 6, you will see five aspects of the mind-bending techniques of the devil. When the devil wants to convince you to believe him much more than God, there are a few things he does. Part of what he does is to discredit the word of God because the the word of God already existed on that matter. Hmm? But... There are tricks the devil plays in the arena of mind-bending that can make you, even though you know what the Word of God has said, that can make you take a position that is contrary to the Word of God, even though you are well awake and aware of the position of the Word of God concerning the matter. It's mind-bending. So it is possible for you to be a pastor today and then you become an advocate for a strange kind of philosophy tomorrow. What happens is that, what happened is that you did not guard your heart with all diligence. Now, if you check, you will notice that all the organs that have to do, to the, to do with the processes of life, your brain is hidden in your spinal, in your skull, your spinal cord is hidden in your vertebral column, your, your heart and your lungs are hidden in your rib cage. So there's protection for any, every sensitive aspect of your being that has to do with the process of life. In the spiritual context, <laughs> there's no barricade made for your heart. The reason why there's no bar- and Are you there? Yeah. What, when we say heart, what do we mean of that? Study your Bible. Study your, you, you see, teachers that were lazy were the ones that told us that heart and spirit are interchangeable. It's just like teachers that were lazy told us that the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven is the same thing. It's just semantics and terminology. When will you study and know for yourself? Teachers that were lazy said man is essentially a spirit. Jesus did not say that. And for almost, what is bigger than generation? For eons, that's part of our Bible teaching. And it's falsehood. It's wrong. It's not the position. Jesus had made a comment about, is there any teacher on earth that should have more authority than Jesus? Where did you... (laughs) This is my calling. Hmm? This is my calling, so I honor him by being faithful to it. So Jesus says in the book of uh, Luke chapter 24 verse 39, Jesus says, behold my hands and my feet. It is the resurrected Jesus. Will you believe Jesus? You believe him. Now, this is what I was taught in Bible school, though, that man is a spirit. Until I found a scripture that contradicted that, and the authority that spoke that was Jesus. And I now saw why Satan sold that lie to us. It was mind-bending. For you to, and it is because of that mind-bending initiative that a Nigerian preacher rose up and said, it is your spirit that is saved. It doesn't matter what you do with your body. It's established. Oh, you don't know how error... Satan can plant a seed and it will, he, he, will, he will exploit it in the next 150 years. Man is not a spirit. This you have seen that in the project man, one member of the Godhead produced the spirit. Another member of the Godhead is producing something else. If man is a spirit, you, it won't need, it, that policy will not require 
the counsel of God to conceive. Think, just think. Truth is logical. Truth has its own logic. Eh? So you don't cast your brain aside in search of truth. No. It, it, truth is so true that it's inviting you to explore. And there is no religion on earth that has been investigated like the Christian faith. But I challenge you to explore our cousins. <laughs> I have. I have. A, you know, there's a way God created some of us. If we don't investigate it, we, don't, we, don't, we must go there. 